Hey y'all, my name is Rich with History Sticks Woodworks Northwest. Welcome to the show. Today we are building a jig so we can build a jig. So we're making two to make one. So what we got is a uh, glue up jig and a straightening jig. So made both of those. And this one is not going to stay the way it is. I'm going to end up turning it apart and rebuilding it. But it worked out really well for what I needed to do at the time so it uh, it's, it served its purpose uh, but we're gonna end up rebuilding it I'd like to have these where these are adjustable back and forth so I'm gonna end up and and this is only half inch plywood I want it to be three quarter but that's what I had on hand so it worked out really well to be able to straighten up the coals and the outside pieces for this jig here so um, the total length on this is just a little over four foot by 30 inches wide. Uh, these pieces here are actually it's 31, 31 inches wide. These are cut exactly to the end of these. These bolts here are uh, three quarters of an inch off the end of these and centered on these calls, which are inch and a quarter wide by one and three quarter thick. You can see I got a little notch down here so that these will sit down inside and put pressure down on the item for the clamp up. And you see the shine on here. I didn't show this when I was building this, but I did put uh, strapping tape on the whole thing, across the whole thing on here so that the glue will not stick to this, but it's got strapping tape there so it'll keep the glue from, from sticking to this. So. Uh, and stick around and see how we, we built these a good little project and I can't wait to get it to put into use so we can uh, make some panels and, and glue up some stuff and get some stuff going off the door for actual products rather than just building a shop furniture all right thanks I started out with a, a full sheet of uh, half inch just shop grade plywood cut it in half and then cut the width at 30 inches I got two pieces here glued them up together some little screws in there all the way around to just hold it together so I gotta get the strips on here on the side of this on this side and this side for, for the glue up so we can clamp everything down I haven't decided if I'm gonna go all the way around on this or just do the one corner one side one corner figure that out here in a minute but uh, it's gonna be a pretty good size. It's 48 inches by 30 inches for for glue up. So if I got some uh, hard maple here. This is uh, two inch by two inch, eight quarter. It wasn't a big beam wider than this. This is just part of it here. But uh, we're gonna use that for the the clamp down system on this uh, on this board here. So. I'm going to uh, get some of that stuff cut up and I'll show you how we're, we're putting it together. And so I ran into a problem on my maple boards. They've got a little bit of a, a bow in them. I don't know if you can make that out down there or not, but there's, there's a pretty good bow in that board. So I've got to straighten them out. The jig I have normally for on my table saw, you how I don't have a, a joiner or a plane or anything to do that. I'm going to run this on the table saw and put my board there. The problem is, is these aren't wide enough and these aren't tall enough so I've got to take this apart, do away with this and rebuild something that I can put this in there and so let's, let's do that real quick.
got the sheet this is uh 10 inches wide and i'm not really sure what the width on this is it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference it's going to sit on top of this and that'll give me my slider to go back and forth i got a mark here at six inches off of this end in the middle is 24 and another mark down here six inches off of this end so down here on this you can see i got a mark here at one inch off of this side and one inch off of that side and i got that on all these lines on this piece so i'm going to groove this out here so the idea is to punch three holes in this piece over here in the same locations six inches 24 inches and six inches off this end so with three holes i'll be able to put the stud bolts in here anywhere i want to for whatever an application i can go from one hole to the other in all three locations on the whole thing and have it completely fully 100 percent adjustable so that's my plan and hopefully it'll work out i'll find out when i hear just a minute i'm going to punch some holes and cut some grooves in this and then i'll probably have to route the bottom of this for the ends of these to to sit up in there so that they won't turn so i'm going to do that and i'll be back in just a few minutes all right this is where we're at took a 3 8 bit this was our 5 16 bolt so these are 5 16 hole in the top of this and they fit in there just right so 3 8 bit and drill the hole at each end and then i took my little jigsaw right there and cut out the rest of it not that hard to do on all three of those so now on this board we've got all of our holes drilled in got it a little sanded down got it cleaned up so i'm going to burst my fingers and all the holes are there so now i have i got the the bolts put in here i'm going to put this over try not to gouge my table up here and i'm going to straighten these out make a line on the outside of this with my square and i've got to pocket these out otherwise these are going to ride on top of my table saw and that would be bad very bad so i'm going to, I'm going to route those out with the router try to do it by hand and see how that turns out so i can get those counters sunk into the bottom of this so they don't gouge into the table all right I don't know if you can see this or not but this uh new rigid saw that they've come out with i just bought this not too long ago too but it's got instead of the rods that come out it's got kind of a crab claw i guess you'd call it type setup pretty nice it's real really smooth i really like the uh, the feel of it um but also it has the light on there so the, the light on there shines against your blade and then it shows that that shadow line right there on your cut line so all you got to do is line that shadow up with your cut line and go ahead and cut and it's it's uh pretty pretty accurate Right 
there, inch and a half. That's exactly what I was looking for, inch and a half. So a couple holes in the bottom of this, a couple screws up through the, the bottom of it, and uh, mount these on the top of there. That way I can match the thickness of the, the eight quarter that I want to cut. And I can put it on here, rip it, square everything up, and start from scratch with a straight board. All right, so we found a, some screws to get those screwed down on there with. Got them all on there. The board is on there, and I got the cup side to the inside of this. It's all adjusted and ready to go. Got the uh, saw blade up a little bit. Gonna take this in a couple different passes here. We'll probably take three cuts to get through this. So I don't burn up the wood really bad. Let's see how it does. Great cut. So now I can roll this over against the uh, fence. Straighten up this side.
gonna look about like that. I'm gonna have to lay this out, drill some holes from the bottom side so I can get some screws up from the bottom, some glue on there, glue it down.
so now I got those all cut and the idea is to go across and the next thing I got to do is measure out for a hole on each end I'll drill a hole in each one of these at each end so they all come across and they all go on there like that and then I'm gonna drill a hole probably at about three inches at about six inches and from there probably every about every six inches I'll drill a hole and put a threaded insert in on both sides of this so then I can clap it down and then from here after I get this hole drilled I'm going to notch across the bottom of these so these will actually sit down underneath these because not everything is 7 16 thick so this is 7 16 on this lip and that lip over there is 7 16 so if I want something that's going to be like half an inch, I'm going to be able to actually put pressure down on the whole thing. So that's what we're going to do next. I'm going to go set up the drill press and lay these holes out on the top of these. And after I get that laid out, I will be back. Here's a little insert that I'm going to use. or just a little screw in, quarter 20. Takes an Allen head 3 8 bit to get it set in and I'm going to use a 3 8 brad point bit. A little tape on there as a stop to keep me from going too deep in it so. pilot holes are drilled so now we're going to take these and move all this stuff off and we're going to cut a notch across the bottom on each end of all these on the table saw cut these on the band saw instead be a lot easier and safer and probably faster
All right, so got the pilots done, got the notches out. So now where these holes are gonna come through, I'm gonna take a little Forstner bit, just a little bit bigger than the top of those inserts. And I'm gonna make a little dent here for these to sit over the top of the inserts because not all of them go flush with the top of the boards over there. So the easiest way to, to fix that is just uh, give them a little recess to split in. Flip them all back over, drill the rest of the hole going all the way through. So these are all drilled. I need to go over and clean them up a little bit, get them sanded down, and clean the holes out, and all that. And now we'll get back with you. I'm pretty happy with how those turned out. They're gonna they're gonna line up really well on both ends. They sit down over the top of those pretty well. They all line up good. The problem I'm having now is all my bolts are two inch bolts these are two inch thick so the only reason they're making it down into those is because i cut that notch in there so if i put a three quarter inch board in here to, to glue up that's not going to the bolts are going to be too darn short so i'm going to have to take at least a quarter inch off the top of all these to make them work So this is a mock-up of what it would look like with everything all together. If I were actually doing a, a glue up on this, this is what it's gonna look like. The uh, one clamp across there, a couple across here. These calls to hold everything down flat, of course. Um, finally, I did get all the washers I need with, with um, some two and a half inch bolts because they just seem to work out better. So I got two and a half inch bolts in there. I did cut these down a quarter inch so they're now one and three quarters to the two inch that they were before you can see how these are th three quarter thick just a little over three quarter thick so that's that's going to work out well if i have to do something that's, that's shallower than three quarter inch these will actually sit down flush on there um, this of course would be uh, i'd have a call down here at this and uh, of this to bring it all square you can you see the boards aren't even the same length they're just just gluing it up for actually not even gluing it up i'm just setting it up for a demonstration this is what it would look like thanks for watching and uh stopping by with us today sure appreciate you guys watching uh don't forget to like and subscribe um we'll probably see you in the next one thank you very much